In episode 2 of this season, Jan stated that the last time she spoke to Seth, she thought there was a killer in the building. We know that Seth has been investigating people in the building, possibly even staying in the Arconia while she was doing it. What did she find? And is it related to what happened to her? My name is Dallas, and let's delve into a season 4 theory that sort of leads into season 5. This theory is not 100% my own, but something a subscriber Jenny B commented on in the season 4 episode 1 review video with some other ideas that I have had in my mind. Saz told Jan that she believed she found a killer in the Arconia, and I think this was referenced a few times most recently in season 4 episode 1 where Mabel asked Oliver about the cold case he mentioned. So what's next podcast-wise? Charles, you mentioned a cold case? Oh, please, if it was interesting, it wouldn't be cold. Now, what we need is a hot, fresh, dead body, preferably right here or very near to here. That tells us that there is, in fact, a murder that happened in the building at some point in the past. But we didn't hear the conversation between Mabel and Oliver, so we don't know anything else about the crime. But we do know... It's earlier that same night, Charles says, maybe we can bring up a cold case. This happened on episode 10 of season 3. Charles asks to bring up a cold case, and just as he says it, Saz comes in and says she has a cold case for him. We remain. Maybe we can dig up a cold case or something. I got a cold case for you. We, of course, look at it as meaning the cold case of beer that she was carrying, but what if it was a double entendre, meaning Saz had a cold case as in crime for Charles to solve. This is where things are going to get a little crazy, but bear with me. What if Saz was sick, I mean terminally ill, and she knows she would not live to see the crime being solved? This could be why she had notes about a doctor's appointment. She skipped it in order to come see Charles and do what she needed to do. She knows that she's close and the people of the West Tower have insight to what happened. She befriended them under the guise of looking over Charles, but while doing so, she became a part of their little family, was able to learn more than the East Tower resident would. She would have played oh hell with the Westies gaining access to the Dudenoff room. The Westies, after finding out who Saz really was or what she was doing, decided they would help her and the podcasters solve the crime. Saz lived a fast life, and she said she had the hots for danger. So what if she set up Charles with the ultimate case of solving his best friend's murder? Though it was through the ghost version, she told Charles that being on film is not the only way to be remembered. I think the best thing she could do was give Charles a cold case from a killer in the Arconia, a killer who's been watching the trio since season one, who knew that anyone looking into the Arconia might remember and bring up this cold case and out them. And all of this has been an attempt to stop this from happening. After hearing the first two episodes of the podcast where the trio went to board meetings and went around asking questions, Poison Winnie, after hearing the first two episodes and seeing the trio go to board meetings, asking questions to people, telling Oliver to end the podcast or I end you. This is why Saz in the end told Charles to tap in for him to solve the case and become a real life Brazos. I think that the fact that the notes from season one saying in the podcast or I and you and the note left on Jan's door says I'm watching you will appear on the murder board later in the season. They were shown on a promotional video on TikTok confirms that the trio is starting to look at the big picture and seeing these things leak together. Maybe not a Moriarty, but a killer whose crime has been forgotten by time, and figuring out 
who the Westie is that was crossed out on that photo, I think will be paramount to identifying the killer. But that's the long game. That's the series ending mystery. I think solving Saz's crime with notes about her doctor appointment. The crime she set up herself is just the jumping point to find the answers on the cold case. I'm guessing that that do not room that's not rented but could be owned and it hasn't officially been touched since that person was murdered in that room though people on the west tower do access it now that's a little bit out there it's mostly um of idea of jenny's but with some things that i have and i like this a whole lot uh, but my major issue is that the person who killed Saz would need to be in on the scheme and the person who has Saz's phone doesn't like Charles or doesn't like the podcasters in general. This leads me to believe that they are not or were not friendly with Saz, even if they met Saz sometime before in the past. And though a lot may seem like it's going towards someone who specifically disliked Charles or being after him, I don't think that's the case. I think that it's someone who dislikes the trio, who dislikes the podcast and what it has done. Whoever's on the phone is a self-proclaimed enemy. Why someone would say such things, I'm not sure. But to me, it really feels like an in-game type mystery. I think the best way to end this season would to find that Saz knew someone was going after the trio and that was the sensitive information she needed to tell Charles. Saz knowing from listening on the ham radio that they were going after Charles that night and she put herself in place of him so she could take the hit for him one more time so he could then figure out who the killer is. But this current killer is likely someone like Vince Fish. This would only open the door to figuring out who the cold case killer is, and that would happen in season five. But at the end of season four, the trio would need to reach out to someone who knows more information, someone like Jan, who obviously knew more than she said openly, and then she would be killed to keep silent. I don't know. There's too much going on, and I just started rambling. But that's just a little theory video I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got more coming. I may not be able to add many clips of the show in future videos. It might just be me on film. I'll see what we can do. I'll keep trying to work around with that. But either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the theory, Jenny, and everyone else keep them coming and if i hear something i like i'll try and throw it or a couple of them into a video next week also my name is dallas thanks again 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 for watching leave a like if you want or don't whatever but i'll see you guys on the rooftop